All right, we're doing carvings from the past, is what this series is called, and um, this is an old form of, of a figure that we're going to be doing called, this is a, a woodcutter, is what he is, but the difference in that is the fact that the face actually is turned uh, to the side. In other words, uh, the face will be here, okay, just like that, but the front of the face will be here, and the back of the face will be down here. In other words, where he's actually... Now, you can do that by uh, actually carving the head separate, but I'm going to do it while uh, the head is completely... Uh, uh, on the uh, figure itself in other words okay now where the head will actually be uh, the nose and all that stuff will be in there the head will be looking this way let's put it that way and uh, uh, this will be a woodcutter I'm going to draw simply draw the arms that we have here in fact, they're going to go back a little bit further, and the hands will be down here like this, in other words. And then over here, we're, he's going to be holding an axe, which we will carve the axe separate. But uh, this is going to be called the woodcutter, is what it is. He'll have a coat on. But what's so different is that the facial features of the head will be looking this way instead of of uh, straight ahead okay now and this is one of the old carvings from the past that uh, I was able to see one time and I loved it I fell in love with it uh, uh, as the series is what we were doing now this is cut out of a uh, block of wood and uh, it's just cut this way to signify uh, the difference of what we're doing here. In other words, if we have a hat on him, which we're going to have, the hat will come somewhere uh, it will go down like this, in other words, and it will come up like that, and then the face will be uh, in this area like that. So, anyway. Okay, the first thing we want to do is to, to go ahead and kind of get our boundaries here where our hat because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the body first and then I'm gonna go back to the head and work on it so we're just gonna kind of of uh, cut kind of get away from just sort of separate the head from the body now what I want to do is go ahead and make my arms. I want to get this going here. We're going to have a coat on him that's going to come here, but we're not, we're, we'll worry about that later. So let's go ahead and cut into our arms. And our arms will come down this far. It's a joy being able to carve again. Uh, I'm taking my time. This this series will, I mean, this video will take a lot longer than what I now, normally would uh, take. But the thing is, you just have to be patient with whatever God allows in your life to come. And if it takes you longer to do it, then that's okay. It just takes you longer to do it. All right, now we're cutting out the arms, or forming the arms, as we commonly say. Now the arm, we will also have a hand, so. when we do it we build the arm up
one side at a time as you see here. we bring this down to give us room for the arm and the hands as you can see we're bringing this part down. To give it the arm. Now, let's go ahead and draw the arm on the opposite side and basically it's the same type of, of, of situation here with the hand as it will be carrying the axe which we will Always start bigger, of course. And then we reduce the arm and the hands down to a much smaller version as we go along. Let's say the hands are, of course, can come in further with this. We'll make this smaller. See, so just like that.
Okay. As you get there, you begin to slowly remove the wood. Okay, as you begin to look at the figure, we begin to kind of thin him up just a little bit. The coat, of course, is still in this area. Right in here. The coat is still in that area. But we're just making room for the arms. Of course, we will bring the arms down. They will not be so thick. We're going to come back on the arms. We're going to start bringing, of course, the the um, hands and the arms will be something similar to that. In other words, where you come up, sort of a crudish. Uh, this is sort of a crudish carving, looking, looking as the old carvers would do. You work along the bottoms, the feet, the legs, and the shoes. I love these old carvings. Uh, I love the way they look. Okay, well, there we go. Sort of got a general idea of the body now. And my time is up for this specific video here, but um, we'll continue.